Hello, YouTube. Robert Alvarez, the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting and a Fan. And yes, I have my lighting and I have my fan. How you doing? So I am happily continuing this more than a walkthrough series of videos starring the Pride Tarot, a collaborative deck, which was published by U.S. Game Systems in April 2020, which again proves that some good things did come out of 2020. And before I go any further, I'm going to have Drake, more commonly known as my awesome audiovisual person for my YouTube videos, do a close-up of the beautiful back of the card design, um, which I do love. I do love this design. The only thing that I do not like about it is that I cannot tell if the card is upright or reverse before I turn it over. But I know a lot of decks are like that. And the card is the Six of Cups, illustrated by Leonard Jim Narciso. I'm checking with Drake to make sure that I have it on the angle so that it's not going to be super washed out, because sometimes I've done that and I apologize for that. So this angle is good, Drake? Okay. So I'm going to read to you what the artist wrote about the Six of Cups, and I love, absolutely love, love, love what he wrote about it. So, Six of Cups by Leonard Jim Narciso. The image shows a sorbetero, a Filipino ice cream man, in front of his cart, serving ice cream to an enthusiastic little girl. This scene was inspired by the Rider Waite Smith Six of Cups, which is normally associated with happy memories, especially childhood ones. I felt that the idea of enjoying delicious cool ice cream on a warm summer day would be an ideal symbol of simple childhood joys. I chose this particular cultural theme because I am a Filipino, and I felt that it would be a good avenue to promote diversity and inclusiveness by depicting a tradition, ice cream, that is enjoyed by a wide range of social classes. This card also relates to innocence, purity, simplicity, and honesty which come naturally to a child. Children do not discriminate between genders, race, or social class, or color, unless they were raised by bigoted, white supremacist Christian nationalists. Then we have a whole other kind of child, one that is far from pure and innocent, but I digress. I, I love what Leonard Jim Narciso wrote about that card. I absolutely do. And speaking of which, I am going to read the bio for Leonard Jim Narciso. Yes. Leonard Jim Narciso has been creating tarot and tarot-related art since the late 1990s. I had to look at that at an angle. Yes, late 1990s. It has always been a fascination to him how, much, how each tarot deck can present a more or less set system of imagery and iconography in a great variety of ways. He has two decks published by U.S. Game Systems, Incorporated, Vanessa Tarot and Tarot de Maria Celia, and a number of others that he has independently published under his indie press, um... Paralumen Studio, which, by the way, I have um, the Paralumen Studios Etsy shop saved under my favorites. Gorgeous Lenormand decks, by the way. There is an Instagram account listed as well as the website address for his Etsy shop. I will include those in the description box for this video. Um, I am so very thankful to... U.S. Game Systems Incorporated for publishing a tarot deck that honors and celebrates the LGBTQIA plus community of which I form part, as well as uh, thankful to Leonard Jim Narciso for illustrating this beautiful Six of Cups. And of course, to all of you in YouTube land, thank you so much for honoring who I am and what I do, and for all the likes, all the comments, all the shares and all the subscriptions to my YouTube channel, and an extra big and beautiful and bountiful thank you to those of you who have already scheduled your sessions, including the individual who had a phone reading scheduled for me earlier today, but it needed to be rescheduled for next Sunday. 
So thank you. I wish all of you a beautiful night, a wonderful week. Stay safe, stay well, stay hydrated, and stay tuned for the next video.